bills that are part of a sweeping safety bill designed to protect children from potentially toxic toys took effect last Tuesday. But the Consumer Product Safety Act has left a lot of retailers and toy makers confused. Laura Ingle is in New York with more. Laura? Well, you know, the goal is the same for everyone involved. Make toys and products for children as safe as possible. But one of the things that hasn't been real clear is the question of who is responsible for the testing and monitoring of products and how these new rules are going to be enforced. All toys and products that are sold to children under the age of 12 have to be tested and certified that there is a safe ratio of lead and phthalates as of February 10th. Phthalates are that is that stuff that is used to make plastic soft and is in things like tooth brushes, toys, furniture, and some parts of clothes. Now, if you're a manufacturer, you are required to do those tests and then certify them. Members of the Consumer Product Safety Commission say of the new law, quote, it is designed to protect the safety of children and give parents renewed confidence when they enter toy stores across the country. Well, if you are a retailer, big or small, you are required to check your products for the content to comply with this new law. So what about the inventory already on store shelves. Many retailers or small store owners don't have a way to check their products themselves and say they are in danger of being forced to pull products and lose their stock, which of course could cost them a lot of money. Some small toy store owners say while a federal law on lead limits and other dangerous chemicals in toys is necessary, this law is too strict and could put some small businesses right out of business. This is not the law we need. This law needs to be repealed thrown in the, the dumpster with, with the, where all the toys are being put right now. It needs to go along with those and start from scratch. And there's more. The ratio rules are going to change yet again in August, making restrictions even tighter for the amount of lead and phthalates allowed. So toy makers, retailers, and certainly parents really need to be informed. If consumers are worried about the products, they can go to the Toy Industry Association's website. Here it is, www.toyinfo.org for more. Chris. Laura Ingle reporting from New York.